Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Current air temperature coming in at a very comfortable 77 degrees. Dew point is at 54. Oh, it doesn't get much better than that. Nice dew point in the mid 50s. Feels very nice. Uh, it, this morning was a little bit warmer than it was 24 hours ago, but still it felt very refreshing. North wind coming in at about 8 with lots of sunshine out there and only a few fair weather high clouds around. Across the region, temperatures are uniformly comfortable. 74 degrees, Wachula 75, Arcadia, Mayaka at 74, 74 in Parrish and Bradenton and Lakewood Ranch, Venice and Inglewood, 73 at Longboat Key. So we do have some high clouds around. The very dry air that was in place over the weekend that slipped in behind the cold front has produced some very nice conditions and now is kind of being replaced a little bit at mid and upper levels with some higher level cloud cover, a little bit of extra moisture starting to filter in, riding on this general wind that's coming in out of the north and west around an upper level area of high pressure. Now at the surface, the winds are being directed out of the northeast, and so we have this continuing wind flow across our region that is out of the northeast and is producing a few scattered showers over on the other coast, perhaps a few, few and far between, most of them not even making it to shore, but being over uh, Atlantic waters uh, primarily. And then a frontal boundary to the north of that high pressure ridge will gradually start to sink south over the next several days. I think it may actually make it through our area as we head into Wednesday, something like that. And as such, our winds will start to shift a little bit more to the easterly direction just before that front makes it through and once again reinforces our dry, pleasant air. I won't say cool air. We're not quite cool yet, but uh, certainly pleasant air. Cool evenings. Sunny, dry, that'll continue on. We'll have breezy winds out of the northeast. Watch them surge a little bit later on this afternoon. There'll be kind of a breezy evening, I think. And then mostly clear during the overnight periods. Clear and crisp by morning. Right now, across the nation, there's just not a whole lot of activity in the deep south because of that high pressure ridge. A few scattered showers in the northeast, also over Texas, a few scattered showers. And there have been a little bit of snow shower activity in parts of uh, the northern tier in the Pacific Northwest. A couple areas of low pressure are moving across the region, too, right now that are uh, producing the rain showers that you see there. And a, a little bit of snow showers as well, especially in uh, areas of Utah. We are looking at quiet conditions here on the Sun Coast. Titan radar has no rain to find, and so it's a very blank screen there. Potential for severe weather over the next day or two will occur in the Plains states. Nothing even close to the state of Florida, which won't even see a thunderstorm over the course of the next several days. In fact, I think it's going to be a while before we have even a chance at seeing a thunderstorm again. Probably you have to look beyond seven days for that. A wind surging a bit in the afternoon at 10 to 15, becoming northeast at about 10. And the official Sun Coast forecast calling for nice weather over the next several days. A little breezy on Wednesday as the next front comes through. And then we stay in that kind of low 80s, mid 80s over the course of the next few days, which is about exactly where we should be for this time of year.